Using my superior thinking skills and the fact that I'm never wrong, I can determine exactly when the Bone Lab update will be releasing. Well, the answer is from the 19th to the 22nd. <laughs> Alright, so I was wrong for the first time in my entire life. But at least we have some info on what this, at this point, hypothetical update will include. Over a year after launch. For fuck's sake. The order of these vague Bone Lab confirmed conspiracies are in the order of when Brandon said them. Kind of. I could absolutely not be fucked to make sure everything was in the perfect order just for no one to even notice it, so I am NOT double checking the order. We're also going to go over some information Brandon gave about every and all things Stress Level Zero, upcoming games included. Enough bickering, let's start with our first scraps of info. First off, full body animation, I guess? It's kind of unclear exactly what this means, as the only thing really confirmed is it will support the Quest 3's inside out body tracking. Whether that means it's exclusive to the Quest 3 is yet to be seen, but based on some of the wording from Brandon, I wouldn't exactly be expecting Vive Tracker support on PC. It seems to be mainly for the Quest 3's inside out body tracking. There's a decent handful of footage regarding full body animation, and overall, looks pretty solid. Because of these changes, the player would be able to use full body animation as input, which may be useful for making full body tracking mods easier to make in the future, as well as potentially giving NPCs a bit more life to them as well. The animations overall look pretty solid, and seeing the legs somewhat adapt to being pushed around while continuing the animation is really cool to see and decently impressive. It helps show what this year long wait was for more specifically. There's also some weird as fuck tension in this clip, watching Strong do Light's extremely seductive dance while being slapped around by a fat ass. Brandon went over some of the more specific reasons that this sort of full body-esque stuff will be useful. First of all, for content creation, Brandon states it'll be useful for mocap. Something I don't personally see myself using, but there's a lot of people I do see it being useful for. One example of someone who may find it useful is the guy who made this video. Yeah. Overall, kind of cool for creators, I guess, but in terms of gameplay, one thing I've seen mentioned is how it would improve body holstering. This meaning things like putting something in any of the holsters on your player, like putting a sledgehammer in your back holster for example, should be a better experience that results in less missing the holster and dropping it on the floor. Brandon describes the benefit of body tracking as a more subtle one, one with massive minor improvements. He describes it more as something you'd take for granted, rather than something you'd immediately call out as a major feature. Overall, it seems like a fairly neat addition, but I and the majority of other players won't really be getting the benefit, as most of us either play on PC, which has no body tracking, or they play on Standalone Quest 2, which also has no body tracking. Next up, the next SLZ game has not begun development. I feel this is worth mentioning because I've seen some people say that it's because SLZ is working on another game that they haven't been able to update Bone Lab. This is not true, so hopefully this prevents some of the random SLZ meat writing I've seen. Brennan has given us some of the reasoning behind why the Bone Lab update is trapped in this internal limbo of being drier than the Sahara Desert, which seems to boil down to Bone Lab updates are focused on the core, Boneworks updates were focused on content. Because core changes take more time, Bone Lab gets less updates. But hey, even though we're not getting any updates, the spawn decals might get optimized. Yay! At some point, whether it be Midlab, Hall of the Machine, Queef, or Cuck Season 2, the future plan for SLZ is to have the NPCs and the players be the same. I presume this means going up to an enemy and instead of it going, hey, and falling on its face like it's Stephen Hawking trying to walk up to a midget on Epstein's Island, it should actually be able to fight back. NPCs are pretty terrible as is, so I'm really hoping this is something that'll happen sooner rather than later. In Bone Lab Patch 3 Beta, there's a bug where the vehicles will eventually offset you. This is apparently fixed in the allegedly upcoming Bone Lab update. Would have been nice to have for, you know, Christmas break, but whatever. The cut avatar gun likely won't be making an appearance as a separate gun, but its function has the potential to be added into the utility gun, so that's kinda neat. There will not be a Boneworks 3. Brandon has said it won't go past 2, which is awesome because SLZ has made some really cool and creative stuff with Duck Season, and I'd love to see that creativity come back and shine alongside the awesome player rig of Marrow. But holy shit, I really hope the next game isn't a Bone game. Boneworks and Bone Lab back to back is enough, man. I'm already so sick of the Bone series. Brandon seemingly approves of Labworks. 
That's pretty cool, especially because not all companies appreciate their games being put into other games. Although, to be fair, it is Boneworks being put into another SLZ game, and Boneworks was never available on Quest as well, so not really that comparable, but I still appreciate the fact that this is allowed at all, as it could totally be seen as taking away from Boneworks sales. One of SLZ's upcoming projects, B-Side, isn't Bone Lab B-Side like we previously thought, but rather Boneworks B-Side. Bone Lab happened instead of B-Side because the technology wasn't there for B-Side yet. We also apparently see some of B-Side in Boneworks during one of the cutscenes. I guess it's the virtual version of this physical area, which is so fucking complicated and confusing. And knowing SLZ, I wouldn't be surprised if this area doesn't even show up in B-Side. We know the vast majority of mods are going to need to be updated again for when the update releases, which means modders who no longer mod Bone Lab will likely just have mods that don't work come the new update. Rest in peace, Babacorp, and your miscellaneous gizmos and gadgets. And NSFW Lite. The new update fixes the absolutely terrible leg system flinging. On screen now is what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like after. Finally, after 14 million years of waiting, you can climb things as tall without being flung into the stratosphere. Another thing that would have been nice to have during the Christmas time, but you know, should probably wait till you have something that changes Marrow entirely. <coughs> <coughs> and the final piece of info worth noting is that while making this video for the first time in 8 months, the stable staging branch of Bone Lab on Steam got an update. This is extremely exciting for a handful of reasons, the main one being that this likely means the update is actually intending on releasing somewhat soon. How soon is unknown, and I personally learned my lesson, so I will not be predicting when I think the update will drop, as I'll inevitably look like a clown. But Brandon's birthday is on Monday, so maybe it'll be released then. Big man's turning 38, so happy birthday Brandon Bone Lab Latch. I've been tweeting daily until the Bone Lab update releases. Of the time of releasing this video, it has been 47 days, so if you want to give me some dopamine by making the funny like counters go up, I'd appreciate it. And with that, that's everything we know about the hopefully coming soon Bone Lab update. I have a lot of expensive projects in the works, so if you want to help me pay for them by giving me ad revenue, then go watch using Bone Lab as a game engine too. I paid for some of the mods showcased that are available right now. I'm currently paying for a couple of other projects that are in the works, one of them being a port of Boneworks with beautiful lighting and a code mod that brings the experience closer to how Boneworks was with full fusion support. So please help me pay for that and many other projects by watching more videos.